Breaking news coming in, the NIA has conducted raids at uh, lashkar e toiba overground workers' premises in Poonch in, the Dangri, in connection with the Dangri attack case. Now, uh, this, these raids were conducted at the premises of several suspects who are connected to the case. And for more on this, we're going to be crossing over to CNN News 18's Ishan Wani. Ishan, tell us more about the raids. Uh, well, yes, uh, the National Investigation Agency conducted raids at the premises of several suspects in Poonch and uh, uh, this is particularly in connection with the lashkar e taiba that carried out attack in Dangri village of Rajori in which five civilians were killed, if you recall. It was a very horrifying attack in which several civilians lost their lives as an IED was also planted. Also, it triggered after people did that, resulting in more casualties. Uh, so, NIA is currently investigating the case and raids were conducted today at five locations in Gurti village in Mindra Tassil of Punch. Uh, you know, NI team tried to extensively search the location where uh, the resistance premises of these organ workers are located who are linked to the Lashkar uh, You know, there have been seizures of physical devices, documents, and other incriminating data. And now the NI will further scrutinize this and see that how it goes. Uh, now, two of these accused, uh, Nisar Ahmed and uh, Mustafa Hussain, uh, have been arrested by the NI. Uh, in August, uh, the 31st of August, and uh, are currently in Port Dalwazil. And uh, on those disclosures, uh, along with the inputs that the NIA was able to gather, uh, that have led to today's week, uh, because they have been trying to track down on these outfits, and the OGW networks are currently working in the Poonch Rajori and Peet Punjal, and trying to destabilize that particular region. Uh, now, NIA has also uh, revealed that the both uh, uh, arrested accused had uh, harbored these militants, who had carried out these deadly attacks, uh, they had provided logistical support according to the NIA uh, to them and for at least two months uh, had kept them in shelter and hideout that they had built. Uh, you know, investigation is underway and they were actually working under this uh, very notorious uh, park some base lesser handler, Tafula, uh, you know, who is also known as Sajad Judge and who has been actually behind several attacks on security forces, civilians, and India has time and time again been the mastermind of several such incidents in the past as well. So yes, so there's a wider crackdown that's taking place, and NIA has to carry out raids at these particular five locations. Could you explain what exactly the role is of overground workers when it comes to inciting terror? Uh, well, yes, uh, one, that is basically to provide logistical support because generally you have uh, those militants who are out of their houses, some of them who infiltrate from Pakistan, generally do not have a place to stay. So how do you manage that logistical support, food uh, res uh, residing and where to find targets and then uh, to move them from one place to another? Because in Rajori, Punch, uh, you know, Pakistan-based militants who had no knowledge about the area were sheltered there for two months according to NIA and then, you know, they were taken uh, to the locations where they had to carry out attacks because they're not familiar with the area, locality, track, and the sort of security bandobas that is present on the ground. Uh, so these are the OGWs who generally help them, uh, provide them logistical support, food, uh, you know, arms and ammunition, and other, uh, you know, material as well, uh, to uh, provide them an oxygen. Because we've seen a wider crackdown by the investigation agencies, uh, particularly on the OGWs, because they say that they have been the people who are providing them oxygen and support. All right, Ishan, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us those details. 